Uh, right now, it's time to show you this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Arizona Republic says the family of a woman jailed in Mexico on drug charges says she is not guilty. Guilty. Yanita Maldondo has spent more than a week in prison. Mexican officials say they found 12 pounds of marijuana under her seat on a bus. Relatives say someone else may have been trying to smuggle the drugs. She is a Mormon who works with disabled children. Her family hopes to know by Friday if the case will be dismissed. The Wall Street Journal says a public school district in New York is trying to market itself. The school district in Westchester says it's less pricey than private schools, but attending one of its schools cost about $20,000 a year. That is half the cost of private tuition. Its high school ranks among the country's best when it comes to student achievement. And USA Today looks at the most fit and unfit cities. Minneapolis and St. Paul are the fittest for the third year in a row. They're followed by Washington, D.C., Portland, Oregon, and San Francisco. The list is based on factors like smoking, exercise, and obesity. The least fit place is Oklahoma City. It has higher death rates from heart disease there.